Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Infamous Universe Q&A. In this series, I take your questions about Infamous and I answer them. Whether it's big, small, simple, or complicated, I am more than happy to answer all of your questions. In today's episode, we have a question from Herb Coswell. Hey buddy, it's good to have you back. And he says, when do you think the next game will be announced? There was quite a few other people who asked this same question, and I'm gonna be honest with you right now, I'm just, I'm done guessing. <laughs> Every time I have speculated on when the game's gonna be announced, I've been wrong, so I'm just gonna be patient and wait it out. And hey, that gives us more time to cook up some cool ideas, right? He also asks, Nyx or Fetch? Fetch, 100%, without a doubt, all the way. And he finally asks, this is my favorite one, I'm really excited to answer this. He says, if they did something for Second Son, similar to Festival of Blood, what would it be? Personally, I would have it be either a Back to the Future style time travel DLC, or a sequel to Festival of Blood revolved around werewolves. Those are some good ideas, but I have one idea that I've been thinking of for a very long time, ever since I was in high school. And the reason I never made a video about it is because I didn't really have a good fleshed out idea, I just kind of thought of it one day and was like, oh that'd be cool, but I didn't have any other structurally sound ideas around it to make it a good idea. But now I finally do, so this is the perfect time to answer this question with my idea. I have always thought that having zombies in an infamous game would be cool. I can just hear some of you in the comments right now, Oh my god, zombies is so overdone, why? Why would you put zombies in infamous? Everybody else has already done it, it's worn out. I just think it would be cool to, to play a game where you are a conduit in an open world environment and you fight zombies and there could be a little story behind it and whatever and that game could actually be a sequel to Festival of Blood because you could have Zeke trying to impress someone again or making up a tall tale or maybe he's he's telling like a Halloween story to a bunch of kids at a campfire I don't know you could just have a situation where Zeke is telling a story but this time instead of vampires it's zombies that could work and just imagine the gameplay in a game like that. Imagine that you're standing on a rooftop, and I'm sure you guys have seen Days Gone footage, right? Like, imagine AI like that in a Zombies Infamous game. You're standing on a rooftop, there's a huge crowd of zombies beneath you, you fire a missile into the crowd, and then they just ragdoll everywhere. It would be so freaking awesome. Another idea that I had is that you could have a four-player co-op adventure. And this game could either be third person, like Infamous or Dead Rising, or it could be first person, like Dying Light. And it would be set in the First Sun's secret laboratory underneath New Empire City, that's from Zack's idea, and you'd have four very specific distinct characters. The first character would be a First Sun's scientist, someone who worked in the lab and is very tight-lipped, does not reveal a lot of information about what was going on down there. Very secretive character. The second one could be a First Sun's tech specialist who is in charge of all of the weaponry and advanced technology available in the lab. This character would grant you access to the anti-conduit weaponry, which you would need for reasons I will mention later on in the video. The third character would be a prisoner that was going to be tested on but escaped during the outbreak. And the fourth character, I'm not quite sure on yet. It could be a conduit, it could be someone topside from above the facility who made their way down on accident or it could be hell it could even be Zeke like I don't know tell me what you guys think would be good for a fourth character down below in the comments but anyway you would need the anti-conduit weaponry because there would be conduit zombies not anything too insane but for example a zombie that sprints at the characters and then shocks them with electricity or maybe a zombie that controls plants and can block doorways, or I, I don't know, I'm just literally coming up with this on the fly right now. But you get my point, there could be really interesting things, and having that anti-conduit weaponry would help you easily defeat those little mini zombie bosses. Honestly, it's just a random idea, I, I don't really think it would work in Infamous, but the idea of having that kind of a game with the Infamous setting and characters and inspiration taken out of Infamous, I think it sounds pretty cool. So tell me what you guys think down below. That's all I have for you today. I want to keep these videos relatively short. I know episode two, I think it was, two or three, was 15 minutes long. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to keep them relatively quick and to the point. I am going to post more of these more frequently though, so you can expect another episode maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see what happens. 
But anyway, as always, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. Remember, a vote for Frank Underwood is a vote for America Works. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all later.